Hey everyone, welcome back to the Drifter Journey channel. I'm Jess, and as you guys know, we like to grill while we're out camping, or as you know, living uh, in our camper or van. And we have a wireless smart thermometer to test out for you guys today. So I've got the grill preheated, I've got some chicken all seasoned up and ready to go. So we're gonna get into this thermometer and I'll show you guys how it works. As usual, thank you for shopping through our links. It gives us a little commission at no added cost to you and the description of this video has a bunch of links for you guys, including the link for this smart thermometer. So let's get to grilling this chicken. All right, first things first, let's get into what you actually get with this thermometer. So uh, this is the thermometer itself along with its charging base. So that is the nice thing about this thermometer is that it is a wireless thermometer, truly Bluetooth only, or this remote, uh, which is also the charging base, as I mentioned. So uh, you can, you get that, you get the USB-C recharging cable, and a little operating manual. Um, if you're gonna use the remote slash charging base for operation, you simply turn on the power button and it lights up this little LED screen um, and then you can program it to the temperature that you want through the uh, plus and minus buttons. There is a Fahrenheit and Celsius button that you can change back and forth through. Uh, in the settings, you can set a bunch of other uh, programs for yourself and you can turn the sound on and off through this speaker button. So um, with this chicken we want to do like 170-ish, 172 degrees. Uh, you can also use their app. So I downloaded their app on my phone because it is a little bit more user-friendly than the remote itself and it just means that you have to connect via Bluetooth which I've already got the app downloaded. It's called Joy BBQ. And all you have to do uh, is open it. And if you've already allowed your phone to discover Bluetooth devices, you should see the Joy BBQ remote or thermometer in your uh, options. And then once you have it pulled up, it basically gives you this little homepage with all of your different options for temperature, uh, or timer and they have a bunch of pre-programmed temperatures in that setting so you can just easily pick you know beef fish chicken um, if I hit chicken it's gonna ask me choices do I want it medium or well done and then it gives me the resulting temperature I'm gonna go with well done so we're gonna hit confirm on that um, and now my thermometer is programmed to hit um, that 174. So it says it's currently 73 degrees and once we shove it into our this chicken breast it's probably going to go down. So let's get it all prepped and then throw it on the grill. Alright so you just take your thermometer out of its base there and one thing that's important with these wireless thermometers is that essentially this entire portion of the thermometer needs to be inserted into the meat without the tips po uh, poking out. So you do kind of need thicker cuts of meat for a thermometer which makes sense right you don't really need a, thermo a thermometer for something that's kind of small. So I'm just going to throw it into the middle of this bigger chicken breast all the way up to that line making sure that the tip is still inside of the chicken. And you can see our current temperature for the thermostat or thermometer is already going down. Originally it was saying 73, now it says 50 degrees. Okay, so we are showing a current temperature of 48 degrees inside the chicken, both on the remote and on the app. Uh, my grill is preheated to about 425. So let's go ahead and throw this chicken on here. I have seasoned it with some pepper, garlic, and salt and hot paprika. All right. Okay, so now we'll just wait for that alarm to go off. I'll obviously check it here and there to uh, rotate the chicken and make sure it's not getting burnt on the outside. 
Um, I am not sure how long it will take. That's one of the reasons why I love a meat thermometer like this is because for me, really thick cuts of meat are some of the hardest to grill. Um, you never really know exactly what temperature is the best for it. And uh, we're really excited to use this meat thermometer with our smoker as well. Uh, it does have some wired meat thermometers, but then you have to constantly go out and check it as far as uh, the maintained temperature and your target temperature. So um, this is gonna be a really cool thing and I'm looking forward to seeing how this chicken turns out. All right, it's been on for about 15 minutes. We're at 109 degrees inside, and I think it's time to flip these bad boys. That looks pretty good. Nice and charred, got some good color. We are getting a little bit closer to our target temperature of 174. We are currently at 167. And one thing I wanted to note is that uh, you obviously have to keep the remote or your phone within Bluetooth range of the thermometer in order to be able to keep track of the temperature. So for instance, I put my phone in my pocket and walked away for a few minutes. Uh, it did disconnect, but right as soon as I put my phone back within Bluetooth range, it connected again right away and I was able to see the display. So that was kind of cool. Uh, we probably only have two or three more minutes until we are ready to take this chicken off of the grill and see how it looks. Hit that button there. Looks like it turned out amazing. That looks delicious. And uh, it's still beeping at me, but I want to get this meat off because I don't want it to burn. So we're going to go ahead and just turn it off by holding it down, okay? Once the base is off, you can see it's disconnected from my phone. So we're no longer uh, measuring the temperature of the chicken. So yeah, wow, that looks amazing. Uh, I'm going to let that rest for a minute and this does get hot so um, don't pull that out with your fingers right away and then uh, we'll cut it open. Okay, let's get into this. I'm excited. This is a pretty big chicken breast and uh, again, I always get intimidated grilling chicken because it's hard for me to know when it's done, but this looks and smells amazing. Yeah, just look at how juicy that is. It's perfectly cooked. That's gonna be delicious. Pull a little bite out of the middle there. Mmm, very good. So yeah, that is the wireless meat thermometer. Like I said, I'm really excited to use this in our smoker as well, but this is a really awesome application just for an average dinner. Uh, thank you guys for watching and leave us a comment if you have any questions.